coming off of the hottest season opener of all time. The season kicked off with a big W, a 40 bomb completed in the final seconds of the game, and now the first Panini Immaculate Box of the 2024-2025 season. Through two seasons of Wheel of College, I could not earn an Immaculate Box. And in the season opener with Silver Spencer Radler at quarterback. Now, if you're confused, there's a rule in Wheel of Mutt. If I ever drop a 40 bomb, I get to open this $1,000 trading card box. I'm going to give away every card we pull to you guys, and we'll add one player to this team. I've had this for like six months. You don't understand how tempting it is just sitting there. This is a 2023 Panini Immaculate NFL. So there's only six cards in this little box. Oh, shit. What is that? That's like one of the thickest cards I've ever pulled out of one of these we're about to find out we can't start there now usually the rarity gets better as you go so this first card is usually our least rare i'm gonna let you guys see this one before i do our very first player is oh shit Wait, what is this? A Justin Fields 20 of 22 cleat impression. I have never seen this in my life. This is Justin Fields still on the Bears, not a Pittsburgh Steeler. Although I'm not gonna lie, Justin Fields has been playing pretty good and we don't have a quarterback right now. So actually as a worst case scenario, this is not a bad option. If there's any big Justin Fields fans out there, I got you. Second player, who are you? I'm a cat, dude. MM casual strikes again. Bob Grease? Who is Bob? Bobby boy for the Miami Dolphins, 44 of 99, championship memorabilia. He must have won a Super Bowl. The Dolphins quarterback authored two Super Bowl victories, completing eight of 11 passes in 1973 and six of seven passes in 1974. That shows you how much the league has changed. This dude won the Super Bowl throwing six of seven passes. Oh, holy shit. Holy shit. Am I seeing this right? One of one rookie logos, Devon Achan. Oh my God. God, this is nasty. Dude, double up Miami Dolphins. This is so sick. Yo, this might be one of my favorites I've ever pulled. I don't know if it's worth a lot. I mean, A-Chan's been good. It's a one of one. There's no signet. I don't know what this is worth, but that's an incredibly cool card. You're not going to see that many cards that cool on an Immaculate Box. Everything. That is sick. Devon A-Chan. Obviously a really, really good option for this team. We have CJ2K right now at running back, but he could easily be a wide receiver. Ooh, we got a legend on this next one. Wait, that's wild. I thought at first this was a Brees Hall. I was going to get so geeked if it was a Brees Hall. But still, Frank Gore. Frank Gore, New York Jets. I don't think Frank Gore has a card in this game. I can definitely check. Getting a lot of running backs. 53 of 99. You got the patch and the autograph on this Frank Gore card. Somebody's going to be really happy with that. I know we got a Frank Gore fan out there. Next up, we got a rookie. But I don't think this is going to do very much for us either, unfortunately. This is a cool one. He got a few reps last season, but nothing crazy here. We're going to get a rookie Jaron Hall. You've got his patch and his auto. So it's a pretty sick card, but Sam Darnold's kind of taken over in Minnesota. I don't even know if they still have Jaron Hall. It's a 95 of 99 Jaron Hall right there. Definitely not going to get out of this team. And that brings us to our sixth and final card. I just realized I had those two cards stuck together, so they weren't actually extra thick. But our third and final card, I'm going to let you guys see it before I see it. I think I saw colors. It looks like Miami Dolphins. Dude, if we got three Miami Dolphins, that's going to be wild. Oh my God. Dude, this game wants me to have Devon Achan so bad. 39 of 99, rookie patch auto. Devon, I just pulled, look at the Devon Achan cards I have. There is going to be a very happy few Miami Dolphins fans. I feel like they pretty much just spoke to me and said, you're putting Devon Achan on that team. That's, that's kind of what I heard. Honestly, a sick opening, but it's really not that good for the team we currently have and the players available in Madden. It just happens sometimes with the Immaculate Box, you know? But I think Achan could be very useful to us. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. What? Wait, Devon Achan has an 88 overall? Oh my god. Wait, this blows CJ2K out of the wall. We actually just got a halfback upgrade. Dude, the only thing is CJ2K has Steamroller, that X Factor. 5'9, 89 speed, 89 acceleration, faster than Chris Johnson. I'm gonna put Devon Achan as my starter and my third down back, and my power hat back will actually be CJ2K. Not to mention, we're not even done. One of our prestige players, Aiden Hutchinson, already got a massive upgrade. MM prestige gods already kicking in. Aiden Hutchinson, after that four and a half sack game, got an 87 overall right end. He's a prestige player. I always can put in the best possible version. So here he is, 
87 overall Aiden Hutchinson team of the week. I could give him abilities, but none of these are that good. Regardless, 6'6", six 85 speed, 88 excel. One of the best edge rushers in the game right now. This was a massive pickup. So out of our three prestigious, Derek Stingley's already got an upgrade. Aiden Hutchinson already has an upgrade. We're just waiting on CeeDee Lamb. Devon Achan from the Immaculate Box. And now we can get some wheel spins in, gentlemen. I tell you what, though, this team could still use so much. We're like a 71 overall. We have no offensive line. We have no fullback, no tight ends. We're actually going to get campus heroes, 80 to 85. I'll be honest, I don't know what's in this promo. We're going to go find out right now. I literally could use almost every position, though, so it doesn't matter. Well, the best players in campus hero are 87s. There's Chase Young, LaDainian Tomlinson, Keon Coleman. We can only get 80 to 85s. And honestly, I am so grateful that there's an offensive lineman in here. Elijah Vera Tucker out of USC. 83 overall. He's been having a pretty solid season, too. We'll take the first edition to the offensive line. Elijah Vera Tucker at right guard. The only non-silver on this offensive line. All right, first upgrades and offensive linemen. Beggars can't be choosers. This team needs everything. So whatever this wheelspin is too, it's gonna be really solid. Core elite jackpot. It is a jackpot, but core elites, I think they only go up to 84 overall. The good news is we have the pick of the litter. We can choose virtually any player in this entire game. Yeah, so the core set, right? The best players in the 84s, Chris Jones, Joe Tooney, Mahomes. I do kind of want to take a quarterback here. I kind of want to get a legit quarterback. I don't know that I want to play with Jarrett Stidham. So there's Mahomes, there's Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, Dak. I'm actually going to go with Patrick Mahomes. What did he say? Okay. Ironically, because Patrick Mahomes is so good year in year out i really don't use his cards that much because i like to play with different players so this might be one of the only times this entire year that i use patrick mahomes why not use his core elite so 70 speed 85 throw power really solid accuracy that's actually a lot slower than i thought he would be but for a hundred thousand coins we can get patrick mahomes as our quarterback also having patrick mahomes on your team gives you a plus 25 percent boost to all referee calls, which is a huge addition. There's some dumbass looking up if that's real or not. No, it's not fucking real. All right, boys, we got a right guard. We got a quarterback and our third and final wheel spin before today's episode is gonna be a team builder. So we can get any of the 85s and honestly, all of the 85 options are really good. Now I do need a tight end and I love Sam Laporta, but I'm honestly like, I already have Hutch. I already have Amon Ra. I don't want to build this full Lions lineup. Asante Samuel, I kind of like. Joe Mixon, we don't need. Baker Mayfield, we don't need. Cooper Cup, we don't need. That leaves Jalen Phillips or Asante Samuel. Generally speaking, I don't like Asante Samuel and Madden because he's 5'10", but honestly, we just need corners, dude. Our secondary is pitiful. I think I can get away with linebacker right now. We still have Charles Haley. We got Aiden Hutch on the D-line. I'm gonna go Asante Samuel. All right, gentlemen, a lot of interesting upgrades today. So on the line is Patrick Mahomes, Elijah Vera Tucker, and Asante Samuel. The final thing before we hop into this big game right here is the challenge wheel. I want to see what it is first. Is that yards per reception? I don't know that I have ever gotten this challenge. All right, we need 10 plus yards per reception average. I like to call this check down mitigation. So if at the end of the game, I threw 15 passes for 140 yards, that would be nine yards per reception. Do they update this? They totally up, I have, I have never seen this. It's kind of buggy. It kind of looks like they put that shit together in like 30 seconds, but I'll give you a kind of cool out of 10 EA. Starting out on defense, you know I love that. Take it on the Giants. So this is pretty much a free win. Honestly, that's what I get. I honestly, for talking all that shit right there about the Giants. Although, Giants fans, you wish you still had that, man. Yeah, uh, classic mistake. Here's the thing, gentlemen. We put up 41 points last time. I'm not worried about seven points. We're gonna go zone fake jet to our speed demon, Devon A. Chan, who's gonna pick up seven yards on his first carry. Let me take a look at that Paul Krause. Paul Krause has pick artist and persistent. Go inside zone to HM. We're going to get even more yards here. Two rushes, 13 yards. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, Mahomes at quarterback, HM in the backfield. We got CeeDee Lamb, Amon Ra St. Brown, Marshall Folk, and a very shitty. That is a tough throw, but we got it into Amon Ra St. Brown. And that's a perfect example of our challenge. That was 9.9 .9 yards. All right, second and nine. We are going all Devon HM. He's there with Divine Diablo. He blew that one up. Oh, shit. Did we not block at all? Fourth and 16. I don't know how we got through so fast. Fourth and 16. We need a whole lot. I'm going to throw one up to CeeDee Lamb. I think this is my best option. I'm bagged, though. 
we were running the ball effectively, but then when we had to pass, we got sacked instantly. A little too much ground to cover. Hey, at least we get a chance to play some legitimate defense this time around. Not just a kick return. I'm here. Nice pocket presence and a great ball. This is going to be a scary game. All right, first and 10, down 14 to kick this game off. This is not looking good. Second and eight. Got to make something very legitimate happen here. I'm going to go into Silver Sam Laporta. And once again, I'm not getting over 10 yards per reception right now. So I'm going to have to start throwing a little bit deeper. Ooh. That was beautiful. Nice work. This is a tough game right now. But let's see if we can make something happen in it. There's Devon Achan on the corner. Oh, I was hoping he could turn up, use all that speed. Now, the good news here, there's a minute 42 left in the second quarter. I'm down by 14. I get the ball at half. I don't think we're quite in trouble yet. Oh, that is silver Sam Laporta, remember. That's not the good Sam Laporta. Third and five. I got to go for it even if I don't get this. So I'm going to run the football. He makes a great play with his user, and we need three yards now. I'm going right back to the same thing. Oh my goodness. Damn, dude, I'm getting stonewalled right now. Dude, he literally has ran, he's ran one single play all game. He's got 14 points. Looks pretty similar. It is not the same play though. Slides down with Jaden Daniels. Goes no huddle. Why are you inside? All right, second and 10. What do we got here? Hey! Third and 17. We get some pressure around the edge. Might be able to get a stop. Wow. Ah, that's Daquan Hardy in man coverage right there. Can't keep up with anybody. I don't know how he would. All right. But get this one in to Silver Sam Laporta. I'm going to call a timeout here. I got nine seconds. And there's Devon A. Chan. Beautiful catch, glitchy tackle. I think I gotta take my field goal here. Although I do have a silver kicker who can barely hit this. Oh God, I need full power, don't I? Actually a really good looking kick for a silver. That may go in. Dude, only in fucking Madden Ultimate Team can your NFL kicker not hit a 45 yard field goal with 95% power. Oh, we're so fucking cooked. That's, that's so ridiculous. All right, first and 10. I'm a little disappointed at how much we've gotten away from the run game. I don't know that I have that luxury anymore. There's only th six minutes of football left in this game. I have no points. Beautiful throw there from Patrick Mahomes. It's an easy throw to Marshall Falk, who stays on his feet. Oh, shit. Marshall Falk. This game is not over. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. It just isn't. That was a crazy broken tackle. Damn. All right, 21 to 7 on defense. He may just run the ball through the clock. Doesn't look like it. Looks like he wants to play to some degree. Big hits, maybe a fumble. Uh, looks like Deuce Close stretch. I'm on Eric Murray. It's not. Deep! It doesn't matter! Because we got home! Is that a silver? Who got home there? Solomon. I'd, I'd be honest, I have no idea who that is. Second and 16. Big corner out, maybe? There's a deep post down the middle that's honestly open. Jaden Daniels gets away! Sacked by Hutch, it's third and 16. Yup. Yup. No. Stop it. Fourth and four. And he's going for it. Holy shit. This is big. Jay Daniels is fast, though. He's taking off. He wants something short for sure. Oh, nice play. Honestly, I made a lot of mistakes today, and I haven't converted on offense. So if I lose here, I can't be mad. But this game still ain't over. Does he want to throw the deep post? No! Oh, but he wants to throw to Derek Stingley! This game is not over at all! Derek Stingley Jr. back-to-back -back pick sixes. Derek Stingley Jr. is averaging a pick six per football game. Let that sink in. We've got two minutes, 48 seconds left. We've got three timeouts. Worst case scenario, he gets multiple first downs and just ends the game. Best case scenario, we can force this to OT. Daquan Hardy gets cooked again. If he's smart, he'll down it at the one. He's just giving me a chance to win the game now. Daquan Hardy's gotten fried for all of his touchdowns right now. All right, first and 10. That's fucking ridiculous, dude. That's just fucking insane. Well, it's really not. It's a silver right tackle. It's really not that crazy. Jesus. Cooper DeGene. Great coverage. Oh, 
when Laporta breaks the tackle. First and goal. This is for Pride, gentlemen. We've got a Pride touchdown here. And, uh, yeah. That one looked real tough. 35 to 14. Really tough game. Mahomes 11 for 17, 143, a touchdown and an interception. HN was 8 for 28, four broken tackles. Honestly, the main difference here is the last guy I played had a pretty good team. This guy had a really good team. And uh, my team is just way too dog shit to win this game. It's that simple. We couldn't hit a block. We couldn't cover in main coverage. We couldn't do anything, really. I'm resetting the team and taking a pack. We don't get to keep Mahomes, Elijah Vera Tucker, or a Asante Samuel. I will take one pack from the store. There's a breakouts pack, which would give me 280 plus breakout players. There's an AKA pack. Gives me one. Ooh, I'm going to do the AKA pack because there's an 85 Gronk. I really need a tight end. So I'm going to go with the AKA pack and hopefully we get one of the Gronks. There's technically a limited 89 Gronk. I don't expect to pull that, but I'd take even 81 Gronk. Gross Matos. That's a good upgrade. 76 right end. Still pretty good actually, because we just, we need more players in the skies. We get Harrison Smith and Emmanuel. Both of these are great. We can take Daquan Hardy out of the lineup now. Tough loss. We fall to one and one. We just got to be perfect next game. And that was not a perfect game. And you know what? These games are so quick. I'm going to send another one. Let's just keep riding. We got three wheel spins and another game here. One and one record. I would really like to pick up a win on today's episode. So I'm going to go for it. 84, 85, top 12. So we just sort the entire auction house by 84 to 85 overall players. And I can choose one player out of the top 12 on screen here, but we can't sort by by now. We sort by time remaining. And we can choose out of these 12 players right here. Looks like there's a Faya to Melifonwu. I wouldn't hate that. Get the skies even stronger. Although it is once again, a lion. Harrison Smith upgrade. I could take Harrison Smith to an 85 where he's an 81 right now. Could work on that offensive line with Jack Conklin. Stafford. I do need a quarterback now because we don't don't have Mahomes anymore. Dude, my offensive line just crumbling. Like, I could not stand in that pocket and let passes develop. As of right now, it's all silvers again since we lost last game. 85 Jack Conklin. Michigan State University is gonna be my starting right tackle. Really good stats. And now we just need a right-handed quarterback. Honestly, a really strong initial upgrade here. First wheel spin is an 85 right tackle. Our second wheel spin looks like it's gonna... Oh, it was so close. Oh, so close to true jackpot, but 100K on one player is still going to get us a really nasty player. I think that should get us pretty much any 84. Four in the game, I'm hoping. Yeah, it looks like it could get us just about any 84 in the game. I think we need another corner. I cannot, dude, last game, literally this guy just basically figured out that I had a silver out there, targeted him every single play, and he got free touchdowns. We cannot let that happen again. Honestly, I'm gonna pick up Richard Sherman. This sounds like a lot of fun. There were a ton of good options in there. If I wasn't gonna go Sherman, I'd go Sauce Gardner, but Sherman is huge, and so is Sauce, but like six foot three, 195, 85 speed, 87 XL. That's a crazy good corner. 280 fives a right tackle and a corner this is our third and final wheel spin and if it's oh shit i think we're walking into this game with jared stidham at quarterback three legends packs no lie these were pretty mid last time we opened them we'll see if that continues our first legends player is jason taylor which is new to us and an upgrade on the team we've got a tight end two or offensive line shit oh shit i'm taking o-line i'm taking o-line silver sam laporta is gonna have to carry and we get a tight end anyway nikola Jokic's little brother nikola kalanichic second legends pack gentlemen can i be honest with you about something after that first game, I've been thinking about this. Also, that's a very good pull. Cromartie. These Legends packs are so clutch for us right now. JJ Watt, I'll take it. Kyle Trask. No, you're not better than Stidham. Sorry. What I want to be honest about, dude, sometimes I'm just not locked in. And last game, I didn't feel locked in at all. I don't know. I mean, if I could turn the switch on and off, I would. And I'd stay locked in every game. I feel so shit. What? I told you I'm locked in. What the hell? I didn't even know this existed. I didn't even know this was in the game. 88 West Welker? No! Holy shit, we gotta win this game. Ken Houston or... I'll take Ken Houston. This was a gigantic wheel spin. Oh my god, we have to win this game. Dude, that was so many upgrades. Sam Laporte is coming out for Nikola Kalinic. Just kidding, Sam Laporte is way faster. Okay, so now we've got Amonra St. Brown, CeeDee Lamb, and my slot wide receiver now is 88 West Welker. This man was 
was born to be a slot wide receiver, so that's perfect. All right, so Richard Sherman is in. Antonio Cromartie is in. We actually have three very usable corners right now. Derek Stingley, Richard Sherman, and Antonio Cromartie. All right, after a ton of packs and some big upgrades, our team's up to a 79 overall. This is a crucial win. I would lose so many players if we don't win this game. Challenge Wheel got us that pack that added a few players to this squad. Can it clutch up for us one more time? The challenge wheel. Two TFLs with the user. This one's very circumstantial. If they run the ball a lot, it's not hard. If they don't run the ball, it's very hard. Keep in mind, sacks do count as TFLs. He's got Diggs, Michael Penix, Cam Chancellor in his top three. We've got CJ2K, Derek Stingley, and now Wes Welker. Michael Penix in five wide to kick this game off. He's gonna throw short, and Charles Haley almost ended his career. All right, still in five wide. We can guess pass, and tell me why Aiden Hutchinson is not on the edge? I don't know that it's gonna matter, but I just don't like that. Okay, another pass inside. Somehow absorbed that hit. Wow, this is like ultra beta gameplay. He is gonna run check down after check down. I think every single five wide drags is what we're getting hit with. We gotta find a way to stop it. There's the escape route. He can't throw it. Does he throw the deep dig? I pray. Nope. He still throws the check down. He would not be getting the challenge wheel from last game. Lobs one over the top to Olsen. Nice pass. Who's that in the backfield? Is that McCaffrey? Something tells me he's going to run this football. He's not going to run this football. He's going to throw the escape route. Haley with a nice tackle. Hey, say what you want. He's moving the ball down the field. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to hop on Derek Stingley. Another escape route somehow he's on his feet he throws big hit charles haley dude you gotta cuff one of these up he is throwing hospital pass after hospital pass and they're taking hits for it i think at some point this game this is gonna come back to bite him go get the qb go get the qb fumble there's the first fumble of the game it's third and goal from the two all right we're in our goal line set i'm on charles haley third and goal does he pass this no, it's a fullback handoff rock. Fourth and goal. He's going to run the same play. And we're going to stuff it. We're going to... Goal line, run, commit, middle. He still walks it up the middle on fourth and goal. All right, we got to go score ourselves. I mean, honestly, dude just used so much clock that I could probably score with no time left and then get the ball at half. I can't tell if this is man or zone. Easily, easily getting the throw into Devon A. Chan, who, who stiff arm jukes one. Two minutes, 20 seconds on this clock. I'm telling you, man, I want to score. Soft defense here. Already looking a lot better than last game. I want him to think it's the same pass. And look at these blocks. That is gorgeous. Devon A. Chan. First rush for 15 yards. I'm not going to play the clock game here. I'm just going to play. Wes Welker on an escape route. They dropped a little too deep. Jarrett Stidham? Jarrett Stidham! He doesn't fumble. He got a little scary. Oh, nice play by his user. That it was... Wh what's going on? Like, what am I watching on these? On second and goal, I'm running a Madden Mobile Classic. Fullback, fake, halfback toss to CJ2K. Who's gonna get absolutely nothing? It was pretty cool in theory, though, right? All right, third and goal. Massive play here. I'm in Rasay Brown! Jared's in a what a ball. Damn, throwing a laser to tie this game up. So he's got 40 seconds, no timeouts now. Put this PAT down the middle. 50 seconds, no timeouts for the Jets. Let's see what they can do. All right, he's starting out in gun bunch. I can guess pass here. Hopefully, Hutch can get home. It looks like he might. It looks like he might. He's in his classic five wide. I might start switching to nickel blitz for this. Oh, where do you think you're going? Check down central. And Charles Haley's got a pick six. Johnny wins. Johnny sins. Johnny zins. Johnny wins. The Lions are in the end zone. I'm just going to go inside zone to Von HN. I think he knows. I'm about to say that looks like a blitz. All right, six-point lead, and we get the ball here. This is looking like a good bounce-back game, but we got to put in a touchdown right now to really solidify this. There's Devon Achan on a little quick one. I'm going to bring Wes Welker to this right side. Hopefully, I can get around the right edge of this. I don't need to because there's Amon St. Brown. Makes a good move. 
Makes a great move, and he's down the sideline. Let's go. Play action, deep go. Amon St. Brown's got his ability activated. Do I try this? Oh, he knows. Look at him. He's following Amon but he's leaving A-Chan to make a move inside of Cam Chancellor. What? Come on, A-Chan. Back in the end zone. I have no idea how that just happened. All right, 7-19. I might be digging a hole here, but two-point conversion. I'm going Amon -Ra. He's not even remotely open. My two-point conversion game is very weak, but I've got a 12-point lead, so I think I'm gonna be okay. 19 to seven. He's in five wide. We know he wants to go short. Oh shit, the first time he doesn't go short, that's why. That's why, and we revamped these DBs for this exact reason. Richard Sherman, dude, if that was if that was Hardy, Daquan Hardy, touchdown Jets. I'm not getting any TFLs for my challenge wheel, but we're playing insanely good defense. First and 10, look at Wes Welker. Tell me that's not a Wes Welker touchdown. All right, it's probably not. Ooh, maybe. <laughs> Stidham, 155, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Don't jinx it. Wes Welker is just wide open. We are running the classic all slants. And Wes Welker. Oh, that's a horrible way to throw that football, but Wes Welker honestly saved us there by going up like that. I'm gonna hand this off. Going inside zone on fourth and four. And oh my God, it's gonna work. That's a brutal, oh yeah, I honestly, yeah. That pretty much just sealed this game. And your peer has conceded the game. Let's go. I just simply had to lock in. Who knew it was that easy? We windows! That was definitely our best defensive game of the season. And now we've got a record of two and one. Gotta love the spin on the rage cool wheel right here, baby. It does make up for the fact that I could not get my challenge wheel right there. Like for the life of me, I could not get my challenge wheel. We get 50,000 coins to spend on one player. I think I want to go O-line with this. Can I get an 84 right guard? I don't think so. I'm going to pick up Chris Lindstrom. I really like Chris Lindstrom. He's usually really solid. Uh, 83 overall right guard for 25,000 coins. It's the best I can get. Gentlemen, beautiful game. I love you. I'll see you guys in the next episode. I might I might hit up two, uh, I might hit up two games in the next episode too. Hey, love you boys. I'll see you then. Peace.